right, let's check in mm. with Mark once again. And, you know, Mark, I'm, I'm wondering if the, you know, the little blast of winter uh, is the last, you know, real cold weather we're going to have this yeah. winter. And if today's false spring is the last false spring we'll have. Well, so let's see, A, A would be, <laughs> we don't know yet. And yeah. B, yeah, we don't know either. Okay. Oh, no, hmm. B would be no. Okay. Oh, but here's the deal. That so, would be yeah, sad. I, I mean, it's case. only January 22nd, right? Yeah. 23rd, 22nd. Yeah. And so we don't see anything on our maps that says an extended cold spell. Because remember that last one, we could see it seven to ten days away, we knew something was up. Yeah. I remember sitting here with you, Riel, during one of our 11 o'clock shows saying, I think something's up next Friday. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We can see general patterns. We don't see any sort of general cold pattern, which now, 10 days out, takes us into early February. If we get to the second week of February and it still looks very mild like this, then I'll probably be like, yeah, I don't see a big cold spell. Um, plus, we have, what we just had, that extreme cold, we, I, we've never had that past about the first week of February. Yes, it can snow in mid to late February. We sure saw that last year. It can snow in March. Every 50 years, it might snow in April. But um, the point is, yeah, it looks very mild through the foreseeable future. And, yeah, today, 55. Notice the record uh, is 60. And uh, you could just see it, the typical high temperature here in Portland, the kind of the trace of the numbers through the year. And uh, you can see here we are at the end of January and early February. About 48 degrees is average. So the high 55 today, that was more like a typical, like, early March day, early to mid-March day. All right, so 50 degrees out there right now. We'll have Valley Vineyards, a light wind. You'll have a bit of a southerly wind in the valley tomorrow. Mary Hill Taste Room and Bistro, notice a light easterly breeze there. And if you look at the rain over the last uh, 10 days, yeah, quite a bit. 6.4 inches, that's how much we've had so far. Okay, so what we're watching for tonight and tomorrow, here comes this weather system. It's moving pretty quickly towards the coastline. Notice it's coming from the southwest, so this is a pretty warm system. Let's look at the model forecast of where it might be going right over us. We get to the morning commute, though, and then into the afternoon, it's scattered showers tomorrow. It's also scattered showers Thursday, but by Thursday afternoon, things are dying down a bit. But do don't you worry, here comes another warm front approaching on Friday morning. This leads us to a lot of rain in the Cascades over the weekend, or at least Saturday, maybe part of Sunday. And we think we're going to pick up probably about an inch or so here between now and early Friday. So we'll have over seven and a half inches of rain for the month by the time we get to the weekend. So we'll call it a wet day. Tomorrow's kind of a frequent showers day where in between there could be a sunbreak or two. We should have a high temperature right around 50, which is above average. Uh, just about all these temperatures above average for this time of the year. Really wet Friday. Saturday is pretty wet. Could there be a break here later Sunday or Monday? You know, there are, um, our models are hinting that anybody that's south of Portland, if we get a break in the rain later Sunday or Monday, could be 60 or so for high temperature like Salem. So that could happen. Uh, it looks like a very warm air mass. We think it'll be an east wind here, which should keep us in the 50s, but still way above normal for this time of the year right through the end of January. Riel?